Here's a really fast video because I just got the Moza Racing HGP shifter and I wanted to show you how I mounted it to my play seat challenge sim rig. Um, so obviously the, the play seat challenge is just made up of this thin wall steel tubing. Um, and that's really one of the nice things about it because it folds up, but there's nothing really solid for you to mount a shifter on. So I bought these one inch, um, I think they're handlebar clamps for a motorcycle for uh, mounting lighting or, or anything like that. I bought those off of Amazon. I'll share a link in the description. And then I had to take the take the, um, the shifter apart and I drilled two uh, 10 millimeter holes in the side. I kind of marked where I needed to go. I, I mounted the clamps to the frame first and then I, I held the shifter where I wanted it, marked the hole locations with a pencil, drilled the two holes, made sure everything was nice and clean so that there's no metal chips flying around in there. And before I reassembled it, I, I just mounted the square part, this aluminum sort of frame box of the shifter to the brackets on the sim rig. And uh, that allows access to tighten the nuts inside without, you know, the guts of the thing getting in the way. So then with it actually on the chair, I reassembled the shifter and this is the result. It's sturdy enough um, for the, uh, you know, one through six. Really, you only get into a problem when you have to um, do the lockout for seventh. What that, that motion of pushing down and out is really the only thing that moves it down like that. I could tighten it up a little bit more, but really, I don't think I want to. I think um, that's good right there. Reverse lockout into reverse, no problem at all. And, uh, you know, shifting one through sixth, it's pretty good. I kicked the cat out of the driver's seat just because I wanted to kind of show... Yeah, one through six, perfectly fine. Reverse, totally cool. But, you know, pushing on that lockout and then into seventh, that's the only time you run into issues with it. Um, but I don't really see myself using seventh gear particularly often, so not a big deal to me. And uh, the position of it, it's, it's mounted, you know, right above this... Um, it's on this bottom tube here, so that's a nice sturdy part of the frame too. Um, and it's a, a good location to the steering wheel. I think really you're supposed to be able to pivot your, your uh, shoulder right up to the arm without having to move your, your elbow at all. And that's a, let me zoom out. It's a pretty good um, position, I think. A little bit close maybe, but not close enough that I want to do anything about it. So yeah, that's it. Real quick video. I just wanted to share how I mounted the shifter to the play seat challenge seat. Um, and if anybody else wants to avoid their warranty on their brand new shifter, have at it, but do it at your own risk. Thanks for watching.